up y'all I'm Matt Swigum welcome to my channel salty swigs today I've got leftover bait and what I'm gonna be doing is um, salting that bait because what, what it was was it was frozen bait <clears throat> excuse me we bought that frozen bait and um, we just didn't use it all yesterday so a good way to save that is to salt it and I'm gonna show you how to do it we need a clean bucket well, cleanish bucket, but it primarily needs to be dry. And then we'll um, layer these baits with salt, and I'll show you how that's done here in a second. All right, so first I'm just going to cut um, this bonita up that we caught, um, did not use. So instead of freezing it, I'm just going to salt it. one side of the bonita. I'll cut that into strips here in a second. Now on bonitas, you see here how there's no belly left there? You want to get all that belly because that's got a lot of good fat in it and it's still a nice bait and the fish love it. So now you want to trim some of this meat off. You don't want all of this meat on your bait. Want it nice and thin like that, and that'll salt up perfectly. I'll just cut it into strips. And there's our bonita. All those baits we got out of it. It's hot out here. So, it says the reel feels like 100. Well, it feels like 120, but anyway. So what I'm doing is just air drying these baits out right now. Um, all the residues are just kind of dripping off the edge. They're getting a little tacky, so that's good. Um, you just want it to dry out a little before you put it in the salt. <clears throat> and that will um, prevent excess liquid. It's gonna form liquid. Um, it does dry the baits out. That's why they're gonna be a little firmer. They won't fall apart or anything when you're trying to use them. Um, because you may know that if you take a frozen bait and refreeze it and then try to use it again after you thaw it out it's like it's mushy it's super mushy so this helps toughen it up a little and helps them last a bit longer because they are expensive so what i've done is i've drilled a couple holes in the bottom of my bucket and what i'll do is i'll just take a couple pieces of um what I'll do is just take a couple pieces of this paper towel and put it over the bottom so it can still drain but the salt won't all fall out the bottom. And stick it in there right like that. And then we'll start putting the salt in and layering the baits and I'll show you that here in a second. Here we go. So. You just take the salt, pour it in the bottom here, get a nice thick layer on the bottom. We'll probably even use another can. Take it like this. in here you don't 
don't really want them stacked on top of each other too much. just keep that process going until your bucket fills up or you run out of bait and salt. I'll check back in. So you can also do the same thing with squid. See, I got a bunch of squid out. I had it drying, actually in the lawn for a little bit. So, um, yeah, and you just layer it just like that, trying to get the shadow out of there. And this one actually uses a little bit less salt than the cigar minnows, just because of how thin they are. You don't need to stack the salt quite as high. I did notice that. So now that it's all stacked, you can let it sit like out in your garage or something. Um, probably wouldn't want it sitting inside. Um, and then put some under for it to drain. Okay, so that was about roughly a pound of salt per pound of fish that you're salting. Um, so that's a good scale to go by when you're buying salt. Back, um, 24 hours later, roughly, and we dumped it out. So, here's some of the squid. Um, really nice, like leathery, soft texture to it. And um, here's some of the cigars. They're nice and firm, but they're still soft and pliable, and they don't crack apart or anything. And that will hold really well on a hook. You can cut those into pieces, anything you want. And then the last was these right here, the Bonita strips. Last pieces, real nice and pliable, but dried out. And they're all shelf stable now. So yeah, what you can do is take these um, and put them in a Ziploc bag, organize them out, and um, you don't have to refrigerate them. I do, I actually vacuum seal them. So I'll be in the kitchen here in a minute uh, organizing these and vacuum sealing them in separate bags. I'll see you in there. There's all the cigars. There's all the cigars. There's all the squid. And there's that bonita. And the soul. Alright y'all, so that is how I salt my bait. If you salt yours differently or know a better way or a different method, please let me know. Comment down below. And if you haven't already, you know, smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe because it means a lot and it helps me out. 
All right, y'all. Lots more videos coming. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Stay salty.